People have always traveled. People have always communicated. People have always done their finances. People have always gathered information. They've always learned and educated themselves before these things existed. You can communicate with other people without these things. Yes, it's possible. It's not as convenient. We must balance this question of convenience with risk. So if it's a tool, is it evil? We can sometimes use a tool, depend upon a tool, enjoy the use of a tool so much that we forget that it is just a tool. We become used by the tool. The tool becomes our master. And we abuse that tool. And we make it an end in itself. This I cannot live without. We incline towards disorder. We incline to fall into sin if we are not disciplining ourselves and keeping ourselves in good order. So many people, even priests and religious, can effortlessly slide into a misuse of the smartphone or the internet itself. You walk across to the, the shopping center across the street where people are having their meals in the restaurants and everyone has on their phone while they're eating. Even you could say amongst pious persons, even here, you know, in the chapel, yeah, the devil's laughing all the way to the bank with that one. You've created a prayer group on your phone of all your pious friends, and now you just use it for detraction and calumny. It's like, just turn the thing off. They respond as if you are a madman. You're asking them to cut off one of their arms. Are you crazy? Our Lord says, if, if your eyes scandalize, you pluck it out. I'm not asking you to rip out an organ. I'm asking you to just turn off something for a while. I mean, what are you, are you crazy? It's the reaction of a heroin addict. It's a real addiction. It's a real disorder. They don't even understand that they are slaves. We all have this opiate in our brains, so we all think it's completely normal. Why are we canonizing this disorder? Do I need to send all these things? Do I need to waste all my time just so I can get a reaction from somebody? Like, what a waste of time. What a waste of time. And the waste of time of just staring at useless news. Empty, empty news. Empty curiosity. Curiosity is not a virtue. 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, longer. It's just staring at images or videos on their devices. Parents, do not let your children do this. The worst problem is the adults sometimes are the, are the worst uh, offenders. Do not let them bring their smartphones into private rooms, into bedrooms or elsewhere. You take the smartphone into your room. The gun's a better option in this scenario. The gun's a much safer option. It will murder their soul, and not just with one bullet, every day. Oh my gosh, their health, they better take care of their health. But they give them something much worse than a gun in their room. And the worst part is you tell parents, hey, you need to do this. Like, I couldn't, if I took it away from my child, it'd be the end of the world. I'm like, yes, heroin addiction, exactly. That makes it even more obvious that you take it away. I've done that myself in this chapel. I'd walk by, take away someone's phone, and the reaction was like a wild animal coming after me because I took away their drug. Let us not put our arms out and put these shackles, these handcuffs on them. Are we addicted to it? The easiest way to find out is turn it off. See if you can do that. Do it for a week. 